Before we get into the video, we're here to invite you to the Roleplay Relay 2. You started so fast. Uh, Roleplay Relay 2 is coming November 25th from noon to 9 Eastern Standard Time here on YouTube.com slash Nerdy Nightly or over at Twitch.tv slash Nerdy Nightly. Gonna be on both places. Yeah. You can watch where you prefer your ads to, to, <laughs> to hit you. <laughs> we're gonna be raising money for an incredible charity, Cat for Kids, that helps the families of children with cancer. And so come on by. We're gonna be fighting Santa Claus after the Stacy's Thanksgiving Day March. Yes, the legally distinct Thanksgiving Day event that happens on the streets of U Nork, a uh, elf city in Felrosia, our world that I built for Relay 1 that mm -hmm. is uh, a giant yew tree uh, that was found by an elf named Nork. So uh, yeah, don't miss it. We're, we're here for a good cause. We got a lot of incredible people involved and it's going to be a really fun time. That's right. There's 16. 16 players in this game. Wow. You're probably wondering how. Uh, Santa Claus is going to kill a lot of people. It's going to be a carnage. It's going to be bloodbath. Mm -hmm. And we're doing it for the kids. So that it's okay? Yeah. Question mark? <laughs> Come, it's all for the kids. Come November 25th. Uh, and now enjoy this video slash reaction slash whatever we put this in front of. Ooh, what's up, internet? My name's Nerdy. And I'm Clarus. And this is The Expanse, season yeah. three, episode nine. Yeah. Nine. Yeah. Nine. If you want the full length reaction, go to patreon.com slash nerdy nightly. But if you don't stay here because you're already here and we're about to watch this close. Last time I said I needed context. Uh -huh. I needed incoming context. There's only like four episodes left this season and I would like to know where we're going. So uh, I think it was Snow Wolf in my chat today said that this is like one of their favorite episodes ever. So Spoilers. It should be fun. Spoilers, Snow Wolf. I'm so no, excited. No, no, I'm, I'm so excited. Let's get into it. Let's go. I'm sorry. If I killed them, I'm, I'm sorry. Her eye makeup is usually very even, and that one time it wasn't. It's not always even. I don't notice every time. Maybe that's intentional then. Yeah. That one just seemed very off on her right foot, or right eye. You're saying that if things go too fast around here, something gets nervous and grabs them? That ain't natural. Yeah, no shit, Alex. Yeah. This reminds me of Eros. That's a comforting thought. Mm -mm. Can explain that that message was fake. The message came from here. Okay, do we have any thoughts on how that happened? Other than then something. <laughs> we have to make sure that... Hey. <laughs> what did you do? What do you want me to find? You know he felt like such an idiot filming these, <laughs> and it is working. But these are the worst days as an actor. Oh, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, it's an extreme close-up. The camera's, like, here, yeah, and I need yeah. to make weird faces. My problem. You both do this later, please. I'm not going to allow any daughter of mine to go whoring oh around the belt. Is that what you think uh, I am? You're going to announce your retirement from oh, the racing shit. team tonight in front of everyone. Julie. Mom, what do you mean? They're, They're like fucking. sisters. No. They're, her and Julie are, like, the same age. He's old. She's not. It's your uh, sister comes to her senses. Sister. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I was like, no fucking. That's why way. I said stepmom. I didn't say mom. I thought it was a like. <laughs> okay, so she's a mouth. Yeah. The girl who plays Fagin. I was Who's like the, the the in the black dress who's just like ah, ha, 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 ha. Yeah. I was like, why do I know her? Mm -hmm. And it's because she was on Radio Free Roscoe. Mm -hmm. The like kid show. Oh my god. Sure. Let's help you fix the comms. Damned if I know, that's a Naomi thing. Yeah, I knew you were gonna say that. I'm gonna ask you this once, and then I'm gonna kill her. <gasps> no. Answer me! What the uh -oh. fuck? Did they hit too fast? They just ran that first probe faster and faster until it got stopped by whatever. Now, now it's being dragged into the center like the behemoth torpedo. Interesting. They're trying to find the speed. Cool. It's not going through the ring. It's heading towards the bubble. Yeah, like the physical dimensions of what's happening in these shots. Yeah. I don't really understand. 
I wish they would pull back a little bit so I could kind of see where things are in space. But it's probably so large that everything would be too small. Well, we should probably keep away from the edges then. Yeah, that's a good safety tip. We're gonna reach the other side of that bubble. We have until then to figure out another option. Everything's fine. Where's our chief engineer? Working. <laughs> Where he told her to... Yeah, because shit was broken. Because you were yelling at her about the fact that she wasn't working. We're going through. We didn't come all the way out here to be told to stay in our place. I love the belt. That's why I have a belt or haircut. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, I know what you're feeling. Guilty, yeah, because we put your old crew in danger. Wow. Guilt is like salt. You put a little on it, hides all the bitterness. I don't know what you're on about. It's a great fucking line. I'll fix the ship. Is that enough? That was a great scene. Yeah. I feel like the ship is large enough she needs a team to fix. But yeah, I would just... Very odd she's alone. Imagine, yeah, yeah. I do like the idea, though, that Naomi is, like, single-handedly fixing... Like, she is the yeah. only person working on it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No one else gets it like she does. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, for the Rossi, it's like, yeah, she can do it herself, but that ship is yeah. massive. And I'm sure she has a team. I'm not, like... Yeah. I'm making a joke before we get comments. But why do you think... There's no, uh... No Miller. Good talk. Miller! this gonna help well i was thinking since the comms are down the only way to communicate is in person you too put your lid on it's time to go <laughs> make sure you tell them we didn't blow up the sang yoon tell them what really happened please i don't know that they're on your side i don't know either <laughs> Amos is fucking insane. <laughs> I know. I love him. I love him so much. With the video guy, you know, I'm blind. You want to indulge in a selfish desire to be a part of something amazing. Yeah. <laughs> the selfish thing is not telling her that she has lipstick on her teeth in this Rude, scene. yeah. Fucking rude. God damn. Performance reviews. Soledad has decent technical knowledge, but she keeps starting social drama? True. <laughs> True. Slumming with your precious belters, saving humanity from itself, do you even know how condescending you are? You're such a narcissist. There's a woman who's wearing like a $50,000 necklace. My father is a damaged man. You're never going to be good enough for him. Damn. Not even when she's committing murder for him? I don't think for him, though. He's in, like, a black site somewhere on Earth. I wouldn't really count on that. Alex thinks I was too hard on them. I was being gentle. I mean, I kind of wish he'd run it by me first. Sorry, Kat. It's all right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we going to do? Surrender. Yeah, see, the scale of it is so big that it's, like, hard it's, to show. Yeah, That it's was a great so shot crazy. to do it, though. That really helped my brain. Mm -hmm. Sometimes just those little, like, like context last episode, like, the, the just a little bit of scale really helps. Absolutely. The place we go is the place we belong. This is no different. Let's go! That was a great speech. Damn, yeah, I got like fucking, look at that. Ooh, goosebumps. little goosebumps. I, <laughs> I love the idea that as they're like lifting up their heels, one person act accidentally unhooks both, and in the middle of this epic speech, somebody just starts like floating up into the air. Like, oh shit, yeah. 
No, that was great. That was really cool. Yeah, that was really good. I'm glad Drummer's getting these, like, moments. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I always wanted more from her in the first couple of seasons. And she's like, they, the show's really giving her that thrust. Yeah, absolutely. The only thing that I see within that ring is more darkness and blood at the foot of a false idol. Hmm. Interesting. Hey, not everybody's cut out for this shit. Yeah, but it's also interesting that, like, that isn't even a thought for her. Yep. I don't, I feel like her marriage does not survive this season. She knows how to make me angry. That's true. She reminds me what it's like to be young. She has passion. She spat in your face. Just want to be like, and you make me feel old. Yeah. What do you do? You plan parties. <laughs> Every conversation she's had tonight has been fucking awful. Yeah. Yeah. She's You'll never be good enough for him. What do you do? You plan parties. I'm... And now you plant bombs because... Question mark. Yeah. But I can destroy the man who brought you low. And that's something Julie never could and never would do for you. I don't know if I've ever wanted anyone's approval that badly. I was also hoping this, that this plotline was going to be more interesting than that. And it's yeah. kind of like, okay. Yeah. You yeah. got my daddy arrested for committing war crimes that he definitely, definitely 100% committed. Is like, yeah. okay. It's not bad. It's just, it's, it's just kind of like. And without even a word to me. I was afraid you wouldn't let me go. She's fucking great. Let's go, drummer. Don't go too fast out there. She's so good. She's so good. Do you think her suit is on the auction thing? They look similar size. Drummers? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. It is? Yeah. One of them. That one's probably expensive. Her gun, I think, is also on there. Oh. And her, like, whiskey set. Oh. <laughs> You want to talk about the non-local quantum hologram. The phase cons, you get adaptive waves resonating in microtubules in the brain. Let's talk about crime scene. Crime scene. <laughs> Signal's pretty good inside the ring. It's, uh, it's really good. So you coming or not? All right, let's go. Guys, it's me. Hang in there. Yeah, they're in like an like a bubble. Yeah. In sp like they're in another dimension or something. Y yeah, it's Is he just going to zoom in on Julie Mao? Oh my god. Is her mommy there like Oh, he's just Wait, really? I hope he let somebody know. He did not. All right. What's up? Damn. Cool stuff. Yeah. Yeah, really good stuff. Yeah. Like mostly. Really good, really good stuff with our like main characters that I actually give a shit about. Yeah. The, the Mao storyline, honestly, uh, yeah, it's kind of whatever. I don't really care about her. Like she's made she's made interesting choices in terms of like you know how she's dealing with like having murdered somebody but it, it but what those reasons are and how she got here like i don't find that compelling personally yeah and like killing someone because of your dad killing a totally innocent person because you want to frame, frame some, somebody cuz for I, I don't know it's it's because not your my dad favorite. is a fucking criminal it, it also like it also involves her having a level of like technical ability that seems <laughs> outsized for one person's ability in comparison to all the people around her. Well, and somebody who, like, obviously grew up incredibly wealthy. Mm -hmm. And obviously, Julie had outside interests, um, which is, you 
you know, why she left, why she, like, broadened her horizons. But all that we've kind of been shown about this woman is that she, like, you know, caters to the rich people around her. She cares about their opinions. She throws parties. And that's it. And so I am not saying that it's uh, it's not feasible for her to have this kind of education. Obviously, they have the money that maybe she went to school for something uh, really technical or, or for, for whatever me, it is. For, but for I, me, it's not I don't an, know how she got here. It's not an education question. Mm-hmm. All of the people on the show have PhDs, right? Like, they're all, like, literal rocket scientists. It is a question of how is she managing the video guy doing his thing with the AI video getting sent out without him understanding, even understanding what he's doing, while at the same time timing that with her planting a bomb in another ship. Well, like, it, se- it seems like I I thought that the video guy and her were both cells underneath an organization of people that are making things happen. And maybe she does. She has the money and she has the influence to have an organization. Mao had that kind of Right, but all of that stuff was shut down. So. Like, we know all of that money and income is is locked down at the moment, right? We had a season and a half of arguments about him wanting that stuff released. Mm-hmm. And so my question is, how, like, it, it's sort of when you give me a villain that's doing stuff in the background, and I'm like, okay, now I need you to make a movie about the villain's movements in the background, because, like, I would love an explanation of how they pulled this off. That's fair, yeah. Like, how she was able to communicate and coordinate timing this, and how she had the influence after he got arrested. Um, I, I mean, she had a whole year, but with all of his assets and money locked down, she still had to, like, have somebody within this, like, documentary group, like, ha- has a connection there to get that guy sent and have it all, like, line yeah. up perfectly. And they need to have a way of communicating because, obviously, they're kind of... Like, no one knows what's happening with the ring yeah. and all of these things. So, yeah. There's got to be somebody above her. Like, we see... I think we got to be missing a piece her, somewhere. Her plotline is convoluted enough mm-hmm. that it would be okay if the reasoning was super compelling. Yeah. But the reasoning is kind of like, my daddy. And I'm like, okay. Yeah. Like, it's just not my favorite thing. And it's it's a little bit tropey in a way that this show often isn't. Yeah. Um, so I think that's why it stands out. And so it stands out for that reason. I think her, as an actress, she's doing a really good job. Um, but yeah, but there's just elements of that narrative that weren't my favorite in this episode. Yeah. That's uh, fair. and, but there was lots of good. Yeah. Um, everything else. Literally everything liter- else. Yeah. The, the stuff with Miller at the end there was fantastic. I yeah. love the scenes with Naomi and, um, and Camina. handlebars. Uh, I love oh. all of the Kamina drummer. Kamina drummer's speech was remarkable. She's so You know what good. I mean? Like Holy the shit. the plot line around everything else is very interesting. I, the 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 priest, the lady. I I think like. Uh, yeah, her her narrative is very interesting. Yeah, she is a. It, it's funny because she's like, and this isn't like a new trope or anything like that, but she is like the selfish, um, like religious person. You know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Obviously, she's doing all of this because she wants to be there, even though, like, she does have a family, right? Like, yeah. And like you said, that doesn't even really cross her mind. It's about her wanting to be there, and... She can't walk away from anything. Yeah. Except her family. Uh, yeah. And so that's... That, that, you, even that in and of itself is interesting. The only question I have around her right now is, what part does she have in this story? And mm-hmm. I'm I'm like she was so relevant with the undersecretary stuff. Yeah. That I'm really like, what how does she become relevant to the narrative of the ring? Other than her interest, but her interest on its own isn't particularly interesting to me. Um so I, I wanna know how she relates to And, and how I, did she get there? What do you mean? She's on she's part ship. of the envoy of um yeah, I just religious mean, like, people. She's one of the leading religious people on earth. So she's part of the like religious section of the convoy of people. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Because they want to go see the miracle. That isn't a miracle. Like they know it's not a miracle. I, I don't know. I, I don't. I, I mean, that's a whole, yeah. As a non religious person, I'm just kind of, I am like, I don't know why they're there. I We don't need them. Also, why are there no people of like other faiths? Why is it all Christians? Like, where is like the Muslim leader or like the Jewish leader? Like, it is very weird that it is like the priest and the Catholic priest 
and then like maybe the other people were of different faiths. But usually yeah. when TV shows have these scenes, they try and like have the traditional garb of a bunch of different human like religions. Yeah. And it is it was a little odd to me that the expanse was like, we have our religious leaders of Earth. The, the, the Christian blonde, people. Wide well hair, no, the guy that he, priest, he wasn't blonde or white. I he was ethnic of he was ethnically different. I just mean she is the forefront of it and she is the mm-hmm. most white that could possibly be white. And maybe in the background of some shots there were like those people and I just missed them. Maybe, yeah, um, maybe. Or they were in the last episode and I, the, I I not giving them credit, but it is I definitely didn't notice. So, um it, yeah. It, it just maybe is that's... it's one of those interesting things where, like I'm like ready for I understood what her place in the story was with the undersecretary yeah. or the secretary whatever his I can never remember what his role was. Um their the friendship and and her influence on that was very interesting. Yeah. And now it's kind of just like a, a to- like a D story right now is that she just wants to be there because she just wants to be there. Yeah. And I'm I'm excited f- because I like her as an actress. I'm excited for when that turns into being relevant to something else. Yeah. Um. And, and maybe that comes from um uh, uh Julie's sister, right? Maybe it is that like her and Fagin, uh, which I th- I find it very funny that her character's name is Fagin, uh, just because of Oliver, but um. And she's like this like dark presence on the ship, that, and and so our priest lady becomes like the Oliver that gets pulled into this plot because of her ability to manipulate behind the scenes. I see what you're doing. Uh, the uh, I didn't expect it to be an Oliver Twist reference, but whatever. Um, maybe it isn't. Maybe I'm reading way too far into a last name. But I'm I'm excited for her plot to just kind of either divert towards somebody else or divert towards like her reasoning. And it not just being, I want to be here, so I'm going to try and be here. Yeah. But And, and that's not a play about what's come. I'm just kind of like, the, hers is kind of the main plot that I'm most like, you're a vibe, but like, go be a vibe with other people. True, yeah. Like, because she, we haven't seen her really interact with a lot of people that we actually care about. Yeah. 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 She's definitely interacting with people, but really know any of them well and they've mostly gotten rid of her so her narrative supporting cast mm-hmm. except for fagan and then i guess julie's sister is gonna be they're on the same shit i don't i don't really know i don't know i also i'm like getting battle or i'm um, getting last jedi flashbacks where they're like going into this ring to move very slowly away from each other and i was like this is this is the plot of the last jedi yeah but we're not doing that because he's gonna go check out the nuclear I know, but I know, but Ray went to the fucking Octo to meet Luke Skywalker, and he's going to fucking the nucleus to meet with Miller and Julie. It's it, this is the last Jedi season. Buckle up, kids. We're gonna be force skyping soon. Ray and Ben, and they're gonna be holding hands. It's gonna be sexy. We're gonna see shirtless Naomi. Adam Driver. He's Naomi. gonna get to the nucleus. It's gonna be shirtless Adam Driver. Great, love that. I'm, I'm more likely that. shirtless Julie because girl never wears clothes in the show. Well, she's a molecule. She doesn't need clothes. She do be proto molecule in. She do she do be do be do. Uh, no, I liked that a lot. There was a lot of really good stuff there. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, the drummer speech, like I, yeah, I'm really happy with the drummer stuff. So good. And, and the like the salt, the guilt, and is the salt. Oh my god. That 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 dialogue in the hallway, really, really, really solid like, stuff. Yeah, that was. Yep, mm-hmm. it was great. I think I'm, I think that part of what I'm responding to is that this show has a lot of people in it right now, uh-huh. and I I think that it's it's a little bit tough for me because there are some plot lines that I am so interested in, and others that I'm not not interested in or that I think are bad. There are just other plot lines that I'm less interested in. Yeah. And so when every scene is in a different plot line, I'm kind of feeling this like. And they're so separate right now. Yeah. I'm feeling this like, oh, I'm really intrigued. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think that this is I this is gonna get there eventually. Oh wow, this is really intriguing. And like the stakes and like the, the movement of Miller on the ship and this Naomi versus the guy and drummer and, and her leaving. Mm-hmm. The, those are there's so much momentum in those storylines and there's so much like personal passion and belief and these strong feelings. And then it gets to these other storylines that are a little bit more like, oh ho ho, we're gonna yeah. get there eventually. And usually there's like one of those and then the momentum things and that's kind of been what has pulled me through the show Mm -hmm. the show right now has like four kind of plot lines in the background that are just a little bit less interesting to me Mm -hmm. and i i'm kind of ready for as we get into these final episodes of the season with like we have like three hours left of the season right i'm I'm hopeful that some of them kind of coalesce Mm -hmm. and that we have a few fewer povs to be bouncing around um 
so that we can spend a little bit more time in each one each episode. Yeah, yeah. Does that make I sense? think that's fair. Yeah. 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 But again, I, that's not. I, I, I think the episode's great. I'm, I'm. It was very fun. I loved it, mm-hmm. uh, especially the Camino drummer scene. Like that. That was. That was so freaking good. Oh my god. The signal's pretty good in the ring. I really wanted the like. Uh... Is he with T-Mobile Sprint? The, he switched companies, which is so weird. But I wanted him to like walk by the back and be like, "Can you hear me now?" Good. Can you hear me now? Ah, <laughs> uh, do you have anything else to say? Yeah. Any final thoughts? No, it's good to see Avasaral again. Yeah. Where the fuck's Bobby? Very briefly. Yeah. Oh yeah. Where's Bobby? Bring Bring Bobby back. I want my gunny back. Yeah. That'd be I nice. I don't like that she's gone. Yeah. She was a very she was a wonderful presence on the I show. I would appreciate that. I also would like more Avasarala. Um. Yeah. Always. Yeah. I'm missing I'm missing those two. Mm-hmm. Maybe I, next time. Honestly, this is gonna sound crazy. I'm kind of missing Aaron Wright. Ugh, gross. He was just his motivations as a villain were always so great. And right now there isn't really a villain. Like like Julie's sister's a bad guy, but she's like, our heroes don't even know that she exists. Yeah. So like, they're like, uh, she's just kind of she's a bad guy in her own plot right now. And yep. so yeah, I would like I, I kind of miss Aaron Wright being this like villain who is so present. Okay. Yeah. Can't relate. All right. Uh, If you like this video, like, subscribe to the channel. If you don't, hit the dislike button. Leave me in comments down below because the algorithm god is hungry and we must feed her. This episode, that algorithm goddess is... Naomi. Naomi Nagata. She's going back for that dick. I I don't understand how she's catching up. Uh, We'll find out, I'm sure. Because she can't move faster. Anyway. But they're not moving anymore, right? They were going to surrender. And then he fucked off into the sky, so... Doesn't matter. Do something nerdy yeah. tonight. Bye. Bye. Oh, follow us on the internet. I'm at Nerdy Nightly. Oh, my car is water. Bye.